Now, Counting Education MEC Matome Chilwani expected to visit a school in Sebo Ken today. It follows, sadly, the murder of a grade 10 pupil who was stabbed to death by another pupil last Thursday. The student was rushed to a hospital but was declared dead on arrival. It's now the second stabbing at the Dinokaneng Secondary School. And uh, hearing from Steve Maborna earlier was our Pule Litsuiti Jones. Uh, let's go back there. Hello again to you, Pule. So just remind us what the department is saying about the situation this morning. Well, yes, we can confirm that uh, one suspect in relation to the fatal um, stabbing which led to the tragic killing of one of the pupils um, has been arrested and that he's appearing before the court um, this morning. And we also do now understand that uh, uh, school will continue as per normal and classes are currently in session. There is, of course, district officials who are here um, at the school uh, who will be facilitating everything and speaking to the school in terms of how they can uh, pave a way forward in terms of the safety of pupils at the school. And you're right to say um, the MEC of uh, Gauteng Education, Matuma uh, Shilwan, will be making his way here just shortly uh, from now. But of course, this the reason why we gathered here is in relation to uh, that fatal stabbing that took place. We know on Wednesday, there was one pupil who was stabbed at the school and on Friday another one another pupil was stabbed at the school many alleging that this could be as a result of the gangsterism which is rife in this area but before I speak to one of the community leaders from this area let's just take a listen to what the heart and Department of Education spokesperson Steve Mabona had to say regarding the safety of pupils in schools saying that this is a great concern the situation is dire now um, we really need the law enforcement agencies to work with us, uh, make sure that our learners are, are safe at all times. But also members of the community we need to work together and make sure that we decrease the level of violence that we see in our communities. Because what happens in our communities, it then spiral and come to our, our schools. But to a certain extent, if learners are outside our school environment, they have their own fights there and bring them at our schools. It becomes really a challenge for us as a department. But we will continue to work with our sister department, the community of safety, um, just to make sure that there's a level of security in our environment. All right, so Steve Mabona speaking to you earlier, Pule. So that's what authorities are doing. Uh, next question I want to know about the kind of safety in place to ensure this doesn't happen. Uh, because I saw police behind you a few moments ago as well. Talk to me about that and then also what are community members saying to you? Yeah, definitely you are correct to say that we've seen some of the police officials who have made their way here to the school. In fact, uh, the spokesperson of the Heart and Education, Steve Mabona, is saying they will be uh, working hand in hand with the provincial government as per the Premier's promises to say just about 6,000 boots will be deployed to the ground in various wards, which speaks to the issue of um, safety and security in some of these communities. Um, they're putting their hopes on the fact that uh, this will you know, come a long way in terms of ensuring the safety of pupils, not only within the school environment but outside of schools as well but let's just now bring in one of the community leaders who joins me now mr Shangu. thank you very much for speaking to us sir uh, let's speak about the 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 crime in this community how bad is it i mean we are being told about the gangsterism that's taking place which is also now like we're seeing pouring in schools as well no thank you very much man let, first, let me just uh, pass my cc condolences to the moji family that you lost the son during the learning process, even though it was outside the school. And also we wish the one, the learner that was stepped on Wednesday, speedily recovered. Mm -hmm. Man, as the community, we are very concerned about the, uh, this barbaric and uh, the crime that is happening in our school premises. So, but at least as, as community, we have tried uh, earlier in the opening of the school to search all the schools. But you know the children will be the children. So, but is the concern. We find so many things that is devastating the community. Drugs, heroin, weapons. Even though we have find them, but they, they put them outside the school and these events 
they try to fight outside the school and they, which is concern to our community but i think we need to stand up to make sure that we protect our children during the learning process mm, we're told about the protests that took place just um, last week as well have, have you tried to have some sort of community engagements in terms of how you will be looking into some of these criminal activities that are taking place in uh, you know your community which is essentially affecting um, you know pupils in the school and when they're outside as children as well that is why the learning process is go is going without any disturb. We have tried to intervene as community mm. so that we can bring both gangs together so that we can hear what is the problem. Mm. And at least we have the approach of them as the parents. You know, one when his parents or her parents are there, they try to succumb. So that is why you see the pro learning process is try is, is just coming down. And also we have made sure that uh, we contact them time to time so that we can we can engage but i think uh, as the community will also arrange the the stakeholders meeting so that we can sit together here actual what is happening mm. during in, in our society have you tried to approach the you know south african police services as well Yes, I've tried to speak with uh, MMC, uh, Mr. Ndade. That is why you see the uh, police officers here. I've spoke with uh, MEC Faith Masivko, who will join us later. Also, he knows about the situation. So that, that is why I'm saying the stakeholders. The stakeholders is made up with the police, the community, and the learners also, so that we can make sure that uh, our school learning process, school is running smoothly. So. Thank you very much. Of course, one of the community leaders in this ward speaking to us this morning, saying that uh, they, by all means, trying to ensure that there are various interventions from different stakeholders that will um, lead to that process of ensuring that um, you know pupils are safe when coming to schools. But in the community as well, they're trying to see if they can bring together you know some of these uh, both gangs to see if this cannot there cannot be some sort of truce or peace um, you know intervention and process that can be, you know, taken off there, there to ensure that, you know, this gangsterism that's taking place in this community does not affect innocent people and, of course, does not pour into some of these learning institutions like we've seen um, so far. And we're hearing as well that uh, potentially Faith Mazabuko, MSC for Community Safety, Pole, are uh, going to be there uh, later as well. So we'll wait uh, to see if that's confirmed, if that's taking place. But I know the uh, Gauteng uh, Education, MEC going to be there later this morning. We'll go back to Pole Letsuiti Jones outside the school a little bit later in the morning here on ENCA.